coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be learning about lists. Li lists, sorry. So lists are, are kind of like vectors. They're sequential containers. And, but they, they have s some advantages, but they have uh, some drawbacks, but there are some, there, uh, there are reasons to use lists over vectors and it really depends on what your program consists of, but I will be going over when to use a list over a vector. But to start off, what we want to do is we want to include the list and we want to say list and whatever type it is name it whatever now uh, we are going to create an iterator and we we'll just call it IT just make it shorter so to add to a list it's much like a vector we just say push back whatever and we say coding made easy now I've never I haven't taught this with iterators yet and uh, the reason why I didn't teach it, I didn't want to really confuse you guys yet, but I will be teaching it with you guys. But there is, I believe there's five different iterators. There is an input iterator, output, bidirectional. Uh, there's a forward iter iterator, I believe. There's a reverse iterator, I believe, and random access. So is that six, five or six? I, I don't even know. I wasn't even keeping count. But anyways, um... So there's different types of iterators and and I'm not going to get into that stuff yet. That's going to be later on. But basically, uh, vector support random access iterators, which basically means that we can address it like this. So we can say names zero and whatever. And we can set it a as give it a value. Uh, we can display it, whatever. Lists don't support that. And the reason why they don't they don't do that is because lists are basically they take on the form of a double or a doubly linked list so we've never we haven't talked about linked lists but linked lists basically are they're attached to different objects or, or different values or whatever in memory uh, they're connected through nodes and basically what the nodes are is a pointer to something else in memory so the way a vector works is that uh, they each element is adjacent to each other in in memory but with a link with a list it doesn't need to be adjacent to each other in memory because it has a pointer to the value in memory so it doesn't have to be to the exact same place it could be anywhere in memory right because we already uh, the the element in the list knows where the next element is but uh, we don't actually have them adjacent to each other because they're not adjacent, we cannot access them like with random access like we do with arrays or something like that because they are not adjacent in memory. So, uh, because of this, we, we're going to be using an iterator to, to traverse through it. And we'll say begin. And we'll say while well, it is not equal names dot end and it plus plus and we can display this to the screen it and l now we're going to get in the same order that we've got and uh in the last tutorial there's a way to sort it but i will be talking about sorting when we talk about the algorithm class we're gonna have a whole bunch of tutorials based on the algorithm class and uh, that will be with like sorting and, and different types of algorithms that will allow us to make li our lives with containers much easier and with the standard template library. But anyways, uh, now that we've we've basically, this is basically how you can use a, a list and, and just to, to show you some stuff that you can do with it. For example, some functionality that it has over uh, a vector is that if we look at this, we can say names dot pop, and before we just had pop back, but now we have pop front. So now we can give it kind of um, the effect of a queue or a stack. So we can get rid of the first element, or we can get rid of the back element, depending on the functionality you want. So if I was to say pop front, and I was to run this program again, it should get rid of Peter, and it should just say coding made easy. 
we can also instead of just adding an element to the back of it we can add an element to the front of it so um sad so cme there and as you can see cme appears at the top so we can also push something to the front of it push them into the back of it so that's one advantage of it and another advantage that we have is that with because they are not adjacent in memory and because they are linked to by pointers insertion and deletion is much faster with a list rather than a vector the reason being is that with, with a list all it has to do is change the next value in the list that it's pointing to that's all it has to do right but with uh with the vector what it has to do is that we have to do some copying and and all that stuff in order to make the vector fit properly and because of that insertion and deletion if you're going to be inserting a lot of values in the middle of it and deleting a lot of values in the middle of your container then a list would probably be more optimizable friendly i don't even know if that just made sense uh but yeah and um Another thing that I'm not sure vectors have this, but I was just looking into some lists and I think it's a cool feature. I didn't really check to see if uh, vectors had this. I'm not sure if they do or not, but let's just see something like this. So if we do, if we push back and let's just say we push back one and we say one and we say names, I push back 10 and we'll put push back like eight and we'll push back 10. So if we make a call to names.unique, what that does is that if two elements in a row have the same value, it will, or if multiple elements have the same value, it will get rid of all of them and stay stick with that one element. Well, I, I'm not sure if it does it if there's three elements in a row. I believe it does. Uh, but what this will do is that it will get rid of these and then it will leave us with one value. So if we run this again. So as you can see, it got rid of these, it got rid of the extra values because back to back they were the same value. But as you notice, we have 10 and we have 10 right there. So even though they are the same values, it didn't detect it as a unique value. So if we want to do something like that, then we can make a call to names.sort. And what that will do is it will sort it into, I believe, a numerical order. And then we call make a call to unique. And then what that will do is that it will get rid of these. So what it will do is it will sort these. It will put this above this to have both tens beside each um it will have both tens beside each other. Then when we call a when we make a call to names dot unique, then what that will do is that it will remove them and only have one of each element. So it kind of can take on a form of say a set as well. So if you only want to have unique elements within it, then you can you can do so with this method as well. So uh, sets mainly when to use a set over a vector basically when you really want to do insertion and deletion and random access isn't really um a big a huge concept of what you need in your code um but otherwise i i guess a vector is pretty good but um but yeah so if you ever really need some help or need to know when is better to use one or the other in a program you can always talk to me but with, uh, with practice, you will see which ones fit better in your code and which ones don't. But that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm sorry for it being kind of long, but I hope you learned something. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Do not forget to uh, sign up on my website and join the forum. And uh, don't forget to follow on Twitter at Coding Made Easy. Like on Facebook. Follow my circle on Google+. And that's it for this tutorial. And bye for now.